Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's intuition. <laughs> Hello, love bugs. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're going to talk intuition. What the hell is it? How do we use it? And how do we get good at it? Because the thing is, is we all have intuition. We're all born with it. <laughs> Just like anything else, it's something that you have to work on. It's something that you have to learn how to utilize, which most people really don't understand how to tell the difference of intuition. You know that gut feeling that you get sometimes? And it fights with your, your logical brain, our human brains. See, our intuition is kind of like our soul speaking, and our logic is kind of our brain human flesh speaking. And in our society, we are very much taught to use logic. And the reason is, is because it's a very masculine society or a masculine world that we live in today, where the masculine is all about logical reason, figuring out things and how to do them the correct way, whereas more of the feminine is more of an intuition, it's more of a feeling. It's when you have that gut feeling. But we all have it and it's so important for us to use in small decisions and big decisions. And look, I get it. I'm a Virgo. I'm very planning oriented. I'm very schedule oriented. I'm, I'm very logical as a person, but I've been very intuitive my entire life and I started to develop that over time. I mean, think about it this way. Our intuition is essentially, like I said, our soul speaking. It's our connection to God, our connection to source and, and the entire energy of the creator of the universe. Whereas logic is man-made. So really, wouldn't the logical decision be to use your intuition? Wouldn't you rather tap into your source to God to answer your questions rather than the way humans have developed. I mean, logically, intuition makes more sense. You know, I typically know after my first interaction with someone if I'm going to like them, if I'm going to get along with them. And it could be even like a 60 second interaction. And I used to think that I was being judgmental, but Time and time again, I've been proven correct, whether it's a positive or a negative feeling. It's the energy or the vibration I feel from interacting with that person. And when you tap into it, you can pretty much tell immediately whether you're going to get along with someone, whether you're going to vibrate with someone or whether your energies are going to be in harmony together. And it's not just for people and understanding if your intuition is correct about another person, but it could be a business decision. It could be deciding what job to take or what school to go to or which grocery store you want to go to. It, it can be anything that you want an answer to. So my first tip is to stop talking to so many people about your decision. Because like I mentioned, we live in a very logic-based society. So that's what we're all taught. So that's what people are gonna be feeding you. Have you ever like had a conversation with someone and you ask them a question and they give you an answer and immediately you're like, mm. well, I don't, I don't really agree with that. Even though what they're saying makes absolute sense, that's your intuition coming up. It's like, it's like coming up, like up, <laughs> up, like no. <nope. laughs> or think about it this way. Have you ever tossed a coin, you know, heads or tails to make a decision? The whole reason behind that isn't necessarily, or at least the way I use it, isn't necessarily to confirm that decision, but it confirms my feeling when that decision is made. So if I'm going to wear a pink shirt or a blue shirt today, and I say heads is pink and tails is blue, and I flip it and it turns up tails, immediately you're gonna have a gut reaction. And if it's a good one, then you know that that's the right decision. That's what your intuition is telling you. If it's a, if you kind of get like a little like, mm, 
like a hesitation almost, then you know that that's not the right answer. So that's a, a very easy way to kind of tap in and practice getting your intuition going. And another quote to keep in mind that I love, I love this, is first thought, right thought. You see, a lot of times when we're trying to make a decision about something, say it's whether or not you want to get in a relationship with someone. And when you listen to your intuition, your first thought is like, yes, I want to. But then all of a sudden you start thinking about all of the doubts and you start thinking, well, you know, I don't know because of this, this, and this. And you start putting logic into the equation. That's your brain taking over your intuition. So typically whatever your first thought is, whatever comes up first before you let your mind wander, that is the correct answer. That is your intuition. That is God speaking to you. Another way I like to put this is listening to your heart space instead of listening to your headspace because we're all jumbled up there. And I think that's a huge part of the reason that we're so dysfunctional in society is because our brains are just going crazy where we just listen to our hearts and we listen to our intuition. The answer's right there. The answer's there as soon as you ask the question. And the way I kind of like to describe it is almost like layers of voices. Your loudest voice like say if you're like reading, you know, you're reading a book and like that voice that's in your head as you're reading, that's your brain, those are your thoughts, that's that voice. And then there's almost like a, a, a deeper voice within you that comes up immediately. That is your intuition, that is your gut feeling, that is your soul voice. And then there's another layer, but we'll get into that into another video that's even deeper, that's even harder to understand, but everyone can listen to that inner voice that comes up and not just the surface level thought voice that's in your head. And there are so many ways to practice intuition. One of my favorite ways is by playing games. I love playing games. I love playing card games and Yahtzee and Monopoly deal and all these other kinds of games. And what you want to do is just tap into your feelings. So for example, like, let's talk about Yahtzee because this is one that I've gotten really good at. <laughs> I almost always know, like I would say nine times out of 10, I know if someone's gonna get Yahtzee when they roll. And it's not necessarily like the first roll, you have like three rolls, but like if they're gonna get that roll, that Yahtzee in their three rolls, like I know it's gonna happen. And you're not gonna always be right, especially when you're first starting this, it's still something that I work on every single day. And so, so play some games. I mean, and then there's things like, well, you know, sometimes I'm sure, you know what? I'm sure you already do this without realizing it. Say you're kind of like far away from a green light and it's green and you're kind of guessing to yourself, like, am I going to make that green light or is it going to turn yellow? Am I going to have to slam on my brakes? Am I going to have to speed up? Is it going to turn red before I get there? Listen to your intuition and play, make a game out of it. it it's, it's fun to get into your intuition and start to feel these things and get better at it because it's easier to go through life and easier to understand what your life path is if you just stop overthinking so much and go inwards and listen to your intuition, listen to that inner voice, listen to God speaking to you. It's so much easier. It's so much easier. As humans, we overcomplicate so many things. So play some games, play the stoplight game. Even when you're going to, like earlier, I mentioned going to the grocery store. Try to feel if you're gonna get a good parking spot or not. It's literally anything. You can, you can do this with anything and just keep practicing. It's like a muscle. It's like your intuitive muscle. <laughs> but it does get easier the more you practice it. But just like if you go to the gym, you're not gonna all of a sudden be deadlifting. 400 pounds the first day you go, you're gonna start off with a lighter weight and continue to grow that muscle. You will continue to grow your intuition muscle where when you get to a point, like I did when I would meet people, I just started listening to my intuition and I stopped second guessing myself. That first thought, that first answer, that's your answer. That's your intuition. And I think the last part of this is just learning to trust your intuition because your logical mind will immediately swoop in and try to steal your intuitive thoughts, your intuitive feelings and your vibrations that you're feeling naturally. We're given that for a reason. We were blessed with intuition for a reason. And as humanity has grown, we've pushed it further and further and further down 
and we try to logic our reasoning through every decision, when if we just follow our intuition, you're on the right path. You don't have to overthink everything. Life is so much easier when you use your intuition, when you use the gift that you were born with. So I want to know, do you guys play any of these games? Do you do anything that now you're like, oh, I am listening to my intuition or oh, I do play that game and start to get in the practice of it. It's so fun and it makes your life just ugh, so much less complicated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you do any of these things or maybe something that I didn't mention because I love finding new intuitive games to play with myself just to kind of, you know, keep that muscle growing. So I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.